A lot of people ask me what keyboard do I use. I use the Strafe RGB mechanical keyboard from Corsair with the MX Silent Cherry switches. Um, it comes with this cool wrist rest. Also has this instructional manual. You gotta have that. Has these gray grip keys with the WASD and other keys as well as a key puller. Um, it has this number pad which you're gonna need for gaming obviously. Uh, the Chrome Corsair. Over 12 million colors to customize your profile and uh, it's also super quiet. There's a link below if you'd like to check one out. What's going on everybody? This is your boy Deluxe20 aka Mr. Camptastic. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Deluxe20 back with my next video, the second one of this series. If you missed the first one, there's a link down below. You can go check it out. I uh, just want to remind you that I am a noob at building this PC and I built it uh, a couple months ago and just now getting the video together. So I want to remind you that uh, from the last episode to this episode, I did read your comments, but it doesn't really do me any good because it's already pre-recorded. But anyway, uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about the Corsair RM850i uh, power supply which I use, it has the Corsair link and it's uh, you can monitor on your desktop all the information from that. Uh, also the Corsair Hydro GFX which is something new that's super awesome that they've got out and it's basically an MSI GeForce GTX 980 Ti that is water cooled by Corsair. Um, then we're going to talk about the Corsair Hydro Series H105 CPU cooler and it's got a 240 millimeter radiator and the best part is it's water cool but no maintenance and then last we're gonna do the motherboard that I showed you last video we're gonna install the CPU and the memory sticks into it and then we're gonna put the motherboard into the case so I hope you guys enjoy it remember to leave a like and enjoy the video first up we've got the RMI series 850 watt power supply it is 80 plus gold certified which means less heat lower operation costs you can switch between the multi-rail and single rails. It also has the Corsair link to monitor and control from your desktop and 100% Japanese 105 degree Celsius capacitors which uh, ensure power delivery and reliability. So let's get it open and check out what all we got in here. Of course we have, you know, your instruction guide shows you all the different RMI series that you can get. I've got the 850 of course. You've got some warranty guide information, hang on to that. Um, you've also got uh, some twist ties and some different things to uh, just connect different things, just everything you need to go along with it. And then you've got your power cable, which of course goes from the power supply to the wall. Uh, you got a little snack for later, just kidding, don't need it. that. Uh, then you have your modular cable set that comes with it. Um, basically everything you need to power your PC uh, from the power supply plenty of cords to plug in pretty much anything you need to plug in and uh, styrofoam and then you've got this nice little black velvety sack that has your actual power supply inside of it as you can see here um, now I chose the RMI series because I like the white and the black um, labeling that's on it there the badging and here on the back you can see kind of where you plug everything in um, it's clearly labeled it's easy to get everything plugged in and uh, get everything working right uh, it also has the Corsair link for your digital connection and then a fan test it also has zero RPM fan mode for fanless operation if you have a low load situation you're not really using it you can turn the fan off here on the back you've got you know just a place where you turn in your power cord and your power switch now I've also got this modular cable set here that I got in white I'm going to be replacing those black ones with just to kind of go with my black and white theme so that's going to look super cool on the inside. Alright this next beauty is the Hydro GFX from Corsair and MSI. It's an all-in-one liquid cool graphics card um, and it is super awesome. It's basically an H55 Hydro series water cooler all-in-one connected to just a MSI GTX 980 Ti. So you can kind of see some of the statistics and stuff on it. Uh, it's got this little MSI logo here on the side. Um, it does come uh, overclocked 20% already overstocked, which is like up to a 15% performance boost. And it also runs about 30 degrees cooler than just an air-cooled 
All right, here on the side is just where you're gonna plug it into the computer, the PCI area. On the back is where you're gonna plug in your monitors. It's got uh, set up for four monitors. Um, then there's a closer look at the H55 Hydro, and it's already attached. You don't have to worry about doing any of that yourself. And then here's a little adapter that goes from eight pin to a six pin if you need that. All right, next is the H105 all-in-one cooler. It is similar to the H55 Hydro that's on the graphics card that I just showed you guys, but it's got a 240 millimeter radiator to help it cool. It can be used with just about any socket or processor. It supports most of the newer AMDs and Intels. Um, I'm using the i7 that I'm gonna be using for this build. It has a 38 millimeter thick radiator, so you need to make sure that'll fit in your case. Also, easy install, and with the two fans, it's super easy to maximize your cooling. Uh, you can see a chart on how much cooler it is than the Intel in the box cooler as well. So, that's the H105 CPU cooler. All right, let's open the box and see what we got inside. Uh, first, you've got your manual that has all the scenarios that you may need for troubleshooting or anything else you may encounter while you're putting it together. So we're gonna set that over to the side. Uh, next up, we have the two 120 millimeter fans that will uh, mount to your radiator and help keep your CPU nice and cool, keep it frosty. All right, in this bag, you have all of your mounting brackets and your screws, all that kind of stuff you need for install, as well as these two interchangeable face plates. You can do blue, red. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the silver one that comes on it. To go with my theme and there's some cardboard or something anyway next is the actual cooler itself um, it has the big radiator that is attached to it like I said it's 240 millimeter radiator and like I said it is 38 millimeters thick so you need to make sure you have room once you mount those fans on there to fit it in there uh, it comes with the thermal paste already applied so all you have to do is attach it and you're good to go it has the Corsair logo here that lights up uh, white which is perfect for my build. I just want to add that it is no maintenance so all the coolant is already added in there so you don't want to add any fluids. Alright next we're going to start assembling the motherboard so I'm going to pull out everything out of the box all the pieces that I might need and I'm going to set it on top of the box so I have a nice little work area to work with. First we're going to put in the CPU so I'm going to re uh, open up this retention arm and fold that back right there and as you can see right there is where it's going to go in. Um, now I'm going to open up the box. Now remember that Intel cooler I was telling you about that comes in the box? That's what this little thing is. So we're going to be replacing that with that H105. Uh, next I've got my processor, as you can see right there. And up at the top corner, it's got a little gold arrow. I don't know if you can see it right there. And it's going to line up inside the motherboard. So as you can see, that's the spot right there. You're going to place it in. Make sure you grab it on the outside edges. Don't get your fingers all over it. You want to make sure you just grab it around the outside and as you can see there's my little arrow that I'm going to line it up with and I'm just going to place it down in there gently then I'm going to fold this down and I'll pull down the retention arm it uh, does take some force as you can see right here I have to use two hands and it almost slides off my box right here at the end but I get it to lock in it's going to pop up this little black piece but I'm going to leave it on top of there just so it doesn't get any dust on it or anything like that as you can tell, I have my anti-static strap on just to make sure I don't mess anything up. I'm going to fold back the tabs here for the memory. As you can see on the thing, there's a little notch there so that it only fits in one way. So you should be able to tell where the notch is before you put it in. But you're just going to put in these four sticks um, in any order. If you're doing two sticks, you want to match up the colors. But since I'm doing four, it won't really matter which order I put them in. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that. For these other sticks just the same way that I took them out you're just gonna clip it back and then just pop it right in and there you go it looks sexy right there all right next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this little shield that goes in the very back to make sure that your motherboard lines up and you can get to all your connectors so it's just gonna go in from the inside and you just have to kind of line it up just kind of work it around a little bit and make sure it locks into place all right, next I'm going to have to take out this fan here on the back because I'm going to mount my radiator uh, for my graphics card right there. So it's just four screws here and uh, it's going to undo those and then it'll just pop right out. There you go. All right, next I'm going to lay the motherboard down in here and I'm going to, it may take you a couple of times to try to get everything lined up. 
but I'm gonna try to line it up so that I can get to all my connections through this little shield. You may have to bend some of this little flimsy metal around so that it'll line up. But once you get it lined up, um, then you're good to go. All right, now there should be spot for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's eight or nine screws here and they should line up perfectly with the case. Uh, you can kind of see them. They're all kind of marked on the motherboard. And so you're just going to screw those in and then your motherboard is pretty much installed. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is the second one. If you missed the first one, the link is down below. You can check it out um, and kind of get some information, some backstory to it. But this is my first ever build. So I want to remind you guys that I am very much a noob at this. So I did my best to try to put it together. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying this little series that I'm putting together. I want to thank Course Air for all the stuff that they sent me to help me out with this build. And next episode, we're going to kind of jump into more of the technical stuff. It's kind of done with showing off all the things that I'm putting in it. We're going to start actually putting it together. So we're going to assemble the uh, CPU cooler, that H105 down there in the right. We're going to get it all mounted up with the radiator and everything. And then we're going to mount the power supply and start running some of those cables and wires out of it. And then we're going to put that that monster of a graphics card with its radiator. We're going to get all that mounted into the case. So it's going to be super awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying it. We just have one more episode after that next one. There's going to be four total episodes. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.